Good evening, friend. It's time for Quest for Semi and Glory. We're back to Furious Angels tonight. Um, we did do a little bit of practice on this over the weekend, and we discovered a few different things. Um, so we're going to change things up a little bit tonight, in so far, in so much as uh, how we're controlling this, because previously we were using just straight up gamepad. Um, but tonight we're going to use partial gamepad and partial mouse. Um, I'm going to keep my left hand on the gamepad for propulsion. I'm going to use my right hand on the mouse for aiming and firing. Um, so hopefully we'll do a lot better this time around. Last time we were very happy to get 15,000, and as you can see, last time I played this, which was late last night, uh, we managed 673,000, so, uh, you know, order of magnitude better, plus, uh, plus a few more factors, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, uh, let's see what the, uh, what the new waves are for today, huh? Let's, let's get up in there, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So usually it tends to start off pretty, pretty similar, honestly. No, uh, no real issues there, right? It's a little tiny wave. So I've discovered that a certain amount of precision is, uh, is required for the high scores. So um, that's why we're, we're on mouse uh, for aiming now. But we still want the. Um, the full-on analog movement, so that's why we're sticking with gamepad for for propulsion here. So they're not giving me a... <coughs> A lot of good uh, early wave transition points here. That's alright. Honestly, all we're really gonna care about, at least for the first couple uh, iterations here, is getting the tank and then immediately losing it. Hopefully, whilst uh, whilst maintaining a uh, a combo which we've already lost, which is fine. Whatever. But we're going to lose our tank here, because then, when we come back fresh, we get a weapons upgrade. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to we're gonna get to get tank again, or we're going to get just smacked out the air. That's fine, too. Like, whatever. It'll, it takes us a little bit to, to get revved up here. But see, even with our dinking about, <clears throat> thousand score, 64% accuracy, already leagues better than what we were doing uh, last time on stream on, on Wednesday, so... We're, we're okay with that. We're okay with that, really. It's really just gonna be a lot of that in the early game. It's just get up to tank, lose it, get the weapons upgrade, get up to tank, lose it, get the weapons upgrade. Probably until about Mark III, and then we gotta start taking things a little seriously. And not be quite so uh, cavalier about what we be doing. Be the upgrade there, perfect, no problem. <clears throat> and then we've also kind of confirmed in our own time that the, the second tier uh, plane that we've got is the only one with homing weapons. Well, that's not true. The, the fourth tier, the laser tank, also has homing weapons. But this one is kind of the interim. That has the homing weapons. For us, that makes uh, targeting things a lot easier. We don't have to be super sniper mode here. Just gotta get things in the general area for them to get hit. One, two, three, okay. Let's just make sure we can hang on. Okay, we didn't get the, the combo sustained through that transition point, unfortunately. But that's alright. Try to bait them into destroying me here. Thank you. And then we can do that. And be a healthy amount towards the next upgrade point here, right? Hopefully. I don't get knocked out of the sky. Because sometimes this this early point is a little bit rough. As far as when we're trying to build up our our firepower here. Alright, so now we're on tier 2 of, the, of Mark 2 here. That's fine. <clears throat> that's good. Usually that's the 
that's kind of the big turn point here. Since even the Mark II uh, second tier weapon is so much better. Let's see what kind of transition point they give me. Alright, already into a carrier, which is fine. I mean, this is easy enough to take care of now with the weapons we got. At least one at a time, right? Didn't even get a shot off. And then there's our second our second tank here. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll burn this one right away, too. So once we get up to Mark III and above, that's when things really start going. Oh, we just need these dudes to kind of gather around, shoot me a bunch. Come on, come on, buddy. Come get some. Try to make our way over to some bigger boys, too, as they are, are much more effective. There we go. Okay, so now we're at Mark III. Oh, we lost our combo there, unfortunately. That's all right. Try to prioritize targets a little bit, depending on what's most threatening at the time. Sometimes it's not always the, the biggest fuckers that are the biggest threat. Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, except in the case of carriers, then we really need to do something about those fuckers. Uh, we missed that dude, so no combo sustain. That's right. Let's just get that carrier out of here so we can deal with the rest. <clears throat> Alright, now we're on Mark III Tier 2. Starting to be able to get some actually good weaponry here. Taking down the bombers in about four shots, it looks like now. trail around me there. That's alright. So I think from this point out, things are going to get dicey if I try to dunk my tank right away. So uh, maybe we'll just hang on to it and see how far we can carry this. And then whatever upgrades we'll just uh, do as is required, when required. So another kind of important thing I've learned about the movement here is that our, our tank turret turns a lot faster when we are not actively moving in a certain direction, or in any direction, really. So that's how we can sure we are well able to intercept shit. As the requirement is needed here. Okay, 2100 per, uh, per mothership dunk is, is I. Unfortunately, we lost about half our tank there, which is not good for mobility, but <clears throat> now at Tier 4, on Mark 3, we are um, not too poorly outfitted for armaments. We've got the big fuck-off laser on the main turret and then the double homing missile for anti-air, pretty much. Ah, uh, too bad we were a little bit late on that one. That's all right. So look at that. Look at how quickly we nuked three tanks there. So we're already doing way better than last time. We've already crested that 15,000 we were so proud of. <laughs> but now, now we're gonna, we're gonna do a few things here. <laughs> oh, this might be a... This might be a tank loss here. Ooh, let's see. Yep, alright, that's fine. Now we're on to Mark IV, which is more powerful yet. Which is good for us. I have a feeling we're gonna see some enemy carriers here soon again, which is, uh, not great. Yep, right there. Which is, um, okay, we're gonna have to do something about this here very quickly. Oh, or get dunked out the sky because those mines were trailing me for a bit. So there we go. You know, 28,000, six minutes, whatever. That's kind of low yet. But certainly way better than we have been doing in the past. So I can be, you know, maybe not proud of it, satisfied, I suppose, for, for early night shenanigans here. It's still nowhere near where we want to be. Like, if we get multiple hundred thousands, that'll be fine. 
I'll be okay with that. But we got plenty of night left to make that happen. Still just getting warmed up, really. set of tiny jets for the transition point there, which early on it's not really that big a deal. Okay, same deal as before though. Dunk our tank as quickly as we can. Try to hang on to combo, which we didn't, that's alright. Got another miner up here? Oh, jeez. Another couple of them, huh? That's alright. Really just need to get that miner down so we can get the upgrade. There we go. That's good. Phew. That Mark II Tier 1 is usually the, really the problem child here. the carriers on the fourth wave. Pretty quick dunk though, if there's only one to deal with. down there, which we will leave alive so we can dunk quickly. Once we uh, lose our tank here. There we go. Oh, or we can just get knocked out the sky because I skated my butt right into that triple fire. That's right, we'll probably see a lot of that, honestly. Until we get ourselves properly warmed up. Same deal as before. Get to tank, get dunked, get to tank, get dunked. Till we get to Mark 3, and then we're gonna play it out, and then do the remainder of the upgrades up to a max level of Mark 5. And kind of play it out like that, you know? Usually we have the have the Mark II tier two when we face the first carrier. Okay, there we go. Pretty clean transition out of that with the, the big boys dunked there. down the miner so we get the transition there. Excellent. Okay, looking good. Okay, now it's either going to be a carrier. Okay, it's going to be carrier on the opposite side, of course, because always. Alright, 
Now this is probably the last one we can safely dunk and get an upgrade on. is firing fast enough that I'm not repairing too much, but not firing too fast that I get rid of all these dudes that are shooting at me. There we go. Oh, and I lost my combo there because I was being a little bit loose on there. safe just to do deal with this, huh? Because then we get the upgrade there. 120 isn't not a great dunk, but now we're sitting on the Mark III Tier 2, so this will so hold us over for a bit. that guy go? Oh no, we lost our combo because I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know what? We're, we're gonna risk dunking this here. I really would like the Mark IV for the next wave of carriers, whenever that's gonna be. Except I'm gonna dunk that dude because he's a little scary. Try to... There, good. Okay. Oh, okay. this next carrier wave. Don't! Ah, fuck. Okay, so maybe going for the Mark IV right away is not a good idea. Should instead play the play the Mark III tank as best out, out as best we can, and then take whatever upgrades come our way after that point. iframes during the transition. It's real nice. Done with the big boys right away, which is great. I'm gonna circle around for that line layer soon. Oh, alright, easy. Two right away. Okay, that's great. Let's just have an e easier time with this. Beautiful. Get on the carrier, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever be able to maintain combo in the carrier transition waves there. So it always appears at the furthest point from where you are relative to your mothership there, which is kind of annoying, but eh, be what it be. All right, we'll take the easy upgrade here for Mark III. Plenty of time to get things sorted prior to next carrier wave.
Ah, I didn't hit anything to keep the combo going there, unfortunately. That going for us. Should at least be able to get a fairly reasonable carrier kill there for some good points. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the good enough transition there to maintain the combo, but that's alright. So now I think at this point we're going to play this tank out. Not go for the upgrade. Probably going to lose combo there. Yep, so it's aiming the wrong spot. That's right. some shit. Swing around sort of rapidly here because I think the next carrier wave is coming up. Be ready for it. Mm, nuts. Of course, it's a. No? I guess there was one more wave before the carrier. Sucks. Okay, so we probably could have had a, maybe not an easy upgrade there, but a not terribly difficult one. That's alright, we'll keep rolling with this. Ooh, rolling into a lot of shit here, that's not good. Oh, please. Ah, nuts. Alright, so we might be looking at a forced upgrade anyways. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Which unfortunately will almost certainly be right before a carrier wave. So, uh, not great necessarily. Looks like we might be stuck with a tier 1 for as well. Definitely not going to get the tank prior to the next carrier wave, though, but that's right. We can still do some good work with this. Oops. 
two bots there, just the one. Hardly matters, really. Okay, there's the next carrier wave coming up. I have to be extremely quick about this. Because we don't have a lot of time to one, disable our cannon as best we can. And then two, start knocking them out. So they're gonna start firing very soon here. We're gonna lose combo because I just rolled over two of them. Instead of actually destroying the one up there. Oh, the other ones. Oh, that we might lose this actually. Okay. Uh oh boy. <laughs> okay, well, good news is we're up to mark five now. The bad news is uh ship took quite a beating in order for that to happen, so mm, this one might not be rolling to 100k the way we want it to. Oof, yeah, exactly. Especially when something like that happens. <laughs> So 93,000, all right, well, we're getting there. Making things happen a little bit. And we did get all the way up to Mark V, although not really by choice. <laughs> not especially by choice that time. Oh, well. That's all right. Until we get a better idea on when the carrier waves are showing up. We'll probably struggle a little bit. Solid transition there. Okay, good. Okay, we had to nuke. We had to nuke the big boys to keep our combo going there, unfortunately. Good upgrade point there. Um, should be first carrier, right? Yeah, okay. Good. That got a little spicy. But we had the wherewithal to move our butts at the appropriate time. So we're at past first carrier by 5,000. That's, that's alright. That's alright. there because he was angled poorly. Got a combo 
there because I targeted the wrong thing. Alright, that's alright. We're still alive and kicking, so we can still make some work here. A couple good bots there. Transition is going to be rough. Let's see, we should be up to mark three by now, I think, right? So we're going to play this one out. Maybe we're still on mark two. I think we are still on mark two. What am I doing? I like this is if I were on mark three. I should play <laughs> play this a little bit better here since the second carriers are incoming already. Okay, got that one taken care of. Okay. All right, we'll play this one even though we're starting with a gift laser. Yeah. All right. Figured that one wasn't gonna last extremely long considering. Transition point on those miners. Full bore into those mines on my own <laughs> recognizance. Good job. Good job. Oh, we already were up to Mark Four there. Okay, I was losing track of where we were at. So that's mostly on me. As long as we're consistently hitting around 100k. Or at least on the approach to it, I can be happy enough with that. Because around when you start hitting 100k, they get extremely unhappy that you are still alive. What happened to that dude? Did he die? Did he get him? Must have got him. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see ya. Oh. <laughs> okay, that one started out very poorly. That's alright. Yeah, I did see that you got the key for me, which is great. <laughs> then I can go get Tom Spazer, and then he can go get me a glove. So then I can go get another glove. <laughs> I almost have to wonder if that entire chain isn't strictly necessary for everybody to complete then. Because that seems like a really weird, messy loop. But oh well, that's, uh, that's multi-world for you. That's true. A lot of us did uh, go out of logic almost immediately. Because <laughs> what fun is it? What fun is it to be in logic all the time? Come on. Going there. 
combo, whatever. That's right. There. Maybe not. Okay, we didn't dunk this mine, dude. There we go. I think it's gonna be. Yep, nice. Oh, wow. Alright, well, if they had launched a plane sooner, we might have been able to keep combo going there. It would have been impressive, because I don't think we've ever been able to maintain combo through a, a carrier transition wave. Feels like I dunked that dude is just after I lost the tank there, which is great. Exactly what we're shooting for. Nice. 3,000 out of crack is pretty pretty fucking fine for early. Early game there. Alright. I'm gonna lose combo there because that dude was tooling around. Probably would have lost it on wave transition anyway, so whatever. Alright, at this point we're gonna tool up as much as we can here, because dunking ourselves for the Mark IV upgrade is gonna be uh, probably a poor choice. Pretty bad too. Oh well. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite get him on the spin through there. Fortunate. What are you gonna do? Okay. I think any of them got a shot off there, which is excellent. Sometimes that triple carrier wave can be a bit... Mm. 
Oh, lost the corner of our beautiful laser tank now. Okay, so we're not going to be long here. We got a miner over there. He's so probably not going to turn his unbusted part towards us. All the more reason probably to just take the dunk there. Tool around and get him. So, as long as we don't do really stupid maneuvers. Beautiful. Okay. Lost tank out of that, but we I think we rolled all the carriers without them getting a shot. Up to 135. So, pretty good. This one's looking alright. And we're up to Mark 5 to boot. So now we're dealing out some good damage. another carrier inbound. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. I'm gonna roll that one at 17-4 for this single kill there, but now our mothership is kind of bleeding a bit. best we can here. <laughs> okay, this is going to be an interesting tank roll through now. <laughs> Look at all this. Probably going to get rolled pretty soon on this one. 
Oh, especially with five carriers inbound. That's not good. Yeah, kind of figured. We're probably done here. So we're not going to be able to take down probably another one of these before they get a shot and then we're toasted. And we got one of them. That's probably the only one we're going to get. Because they are super close here. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> Damn. Still, 348. Not bad. And we lost that to our mothership getting dunked rather than us getting dunked, so... Not bad. Not bad at all. We can still do better. But not bad. It got very, very crowded. And we had kind of that unfortunate tank transition in the middle of everything just firing at us. Uh, oh well. Oh well, hey. We're doing it. We're, we're doing it. I don't know, let's, we'll, we'll see. Once I get dunked the next time here, we'll see how that stacks up on, on today's scores. It'll probably put me in top 10. Maybe number seven, possibly number six, depending. But it does get very, very competitive at the top <laughs> on the order of a million plus. But we'll see, we'll see soon enough, I'm sure. Because we never follow on a good run with another good run. It's usually one that we get quick, quickly dunked on. But we'll see how this goes. First carrier, which will be over here. Ah. About 5,000 up to first carrier wave. Pretty okay. Cut that guy a little close. All right, let's see how we stacked up with our 348 from last time. Oh, hey, that's number one so far. Interesting. Okay. Impressive. Impressive, but we got... See, there's there's 28 hours left before this rolls over, so... I expect that will not stay for very long. It definitely will not stay for very long. <laughs> So I expect that when we roll on this, probably on Wednesday night yet, yeah, that'll probably be knocked down to number four, number five, I'd guess. Still, not bad. Not bad. We'll, we'll take the very brief number one whilst we have it. Certainly nothing I will complain about. Let's see if we can't improve the chance that it stays up there a bit longer, right?
how we want that to go. We bopped out a tank and then nuked the tank that was firing at us. Gives us an easy 10 towards the next one. south, but it wouldn't have been enough to keep that rolling anyways. Alright. I think our, our baseline is just shy of 5,000 after first carrier, which is not bad. Rolling pretty okay here. He was dipped a little bit, little shithead. There we go. Pretty good dunk there. Ah, nuts. Couldn't quite sustain. Alright, that's okay. That's alright. That one's probably possible. But very, very tight. That one's probably possible too if I've got the right aim. Such luck that time though. Couldn't intercept that guy on the way through. Mm, silly. I didn't roll this one properly on the way through either, so we took at least one bop there, if not more. That's right, though. I'll eat that one pretty soon, yep. Gets us up to mark four. tank on the way through. So they come back to bite us later.
a shot on me for this because... Oh, or I can just eat shit right there. <laughs> this dumbass mind. Always a problem trying to skate over those those carriers like that. Your targeting goes a little squiffy. Okay, well, 28 is whatever. <laughs> 28 is a big ol' whatever. Dunk that other tank a little bit too fast, so I'm not gonna get the easy 10 out of it, but that's right. We'll do okay. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Well, we made it up there in time, but there wasn't anything easy to bop to keep our combo rolling. I think this is our last kind of easy upgrade here, so... Let them try to do their thing. Carrier kill at a bad combo because they were gearing up to shoot at my mothership. Shitheads. Maintain that either. Kill a big thing like a carrier, do the extra points spill over to the next upgrade? Um, if you're already maxed out with the laser tank, no. But if you are anything south of that, it gives you a big, I think, 50, 50 points towards the upgrade, which is sick as hell. But if it causes you to spill over like the next upgrade and then into the one following, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure how that works out, honestly. I would guess they're lost, but I don't have uh, enough of a perspective on that to really know for sure. Okay, good. Maintain that one. We'll just roll through.
There we go. Beautiful. I don't think that could have gone any better, well, besides carrying combo there, but... We're still at full... Full both sides of our laser tank, so as much mobility as we're gonna get out of this sucker. Did we? Oh, wow. Sustained somehow. Okay. Great. Try to roll on that one. Good. Okay, you got one shot off. Shit head. But, oof, 7200 at a crack is not bad. Big old damn shame. Now we're down to not great mobility laser tank. <laughs> as many of them as we can in our current state. Ooh, which is probably going to be right there. Yeah, okay. No, no big deal. Or at least up to Mark IV, which is good firepower in its own right. Dudes had me dead to rights. And they fucked up. <laughs> good for them. Well, bad for them, good for me. <laughs> speed to take care of this. Okay, well at least roll through, knock out their cannons as best we can. Maybe get three out of the four on our way through, that's good. Oh, beautiful. Okay, it's fine. Okay, they got one shot off it looks like. Maybe two. Old full combo on them, so we're up to 273, 274. <laughs> and Mark V, so okay. Honestly, losing tank right after Carrier Wave is probably the best time to do it. That gives us plenty of stuff to build ourselves back up with. But now it's getting crowded. Oh, 
probably shouldn't roll over those tanks like that. <laughs> that is a dangerous proposition. Okay, we're up to tier two now. Excellent. Slightly less dangerous. tank in the middle of a pretty bad state of affairs here. This carrier run is going to be a, a small issue because we've got extremely little in the way of ability to okay yeah that's, that's probably the end of it right here yep what'd we roll there 666 366 damn 300 away from the blessed number <laughs> pretty good though and one away on kills too damn Okay, now we rolling good here. That was full 10 minutes. Full 10 minutes, mark 5, 60% accuracy. Pretty gosh dang good. Yeah, see, we already got our number one blasted off the board. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Couldn't let me have that one for more than five minutes, could you? Oh, well. Still, I think that's that's within reach of us. We just need to roll through that uh, that five carrier wave somehow. Oof. Oof -a okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Because I think that uh, that five carrier wave is probably going to be the brick wall. Here. Like, we'll be able to get to it probably one more time tonight, but hell if we'll be able to pass it, because that's just a lot of shit to be dealing with at once. Especially... Especially if we're rolling in a half gimped tank. We just don't have the mobility to get to them all. did successfully. Roll the 
first carrier. All right, good. I think we did better than average getting our combo, so yeah, I'm rolling into the carrier wave. 57 hundo. Pretty all right. Pretty all right. Nearly 6,000 coming out of it. on to that one <laughs> somehow yeesh okay that's right shove a carrier at you just as you hit the mark two tier two transition which is pretty good we'll end up with a, a nice three thousand out of that one unable to sustain play this out instead of intentionally dunking for an upgrade. Mothership, at the very least. out of range there. Oh well. Carrier wave. Triple carrier against full laser, though. Should be alright. Should be able to roll these pretty quick. I was hoping they wouldn't be able to get me there. That's alright. Okay, well, we might be uh, headed to an upgrade sooner then. Problem. Although it's probably too spicy to take an intentional dunk for this, so we'll just go with that, I guess. It's fine.
beautiful. Dunk the center of those very effectively. I love it. Tank at a pretty good time here. bad angle to be at for this, though. Probably best I can hope for is to nuke one, turn around, blast another. Get as many at full bore that we can here. Oh, we couldn't quite, couldn't quite pull the uh, laser tank upgrade out of that one, but we did get a sizable amount towards our next one here. So now this is going to be a, a messy and dangerous pullback. <laughs> Boy, howdy, there's a lot going on in that center. A lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, in fact. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna lose combo there, because I got scared. Unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, pff, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Look at that graveyard down below, though. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Phew, unfortunately, that, uh, that three carrier wave was kind of rough. If we had managed to pull laser tank out of that, we might have gotten another couple hundred thou out of it, but. Mm. That's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. We got it, though. We got it this time. It's kind of funny. Sometimes if you if you dunk things in just the right spot over your mothership, their corpse just hangs out there for a while. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get that miner to do it, but. I wouldn't say no to another upgrade above the laser tank, right? It'd be kind of nice. 
But honestly, it's got some pretty good defenses on its own. The, the double homing missile launchers go into town, right? It just, just cuts such a wide path. Especially when you lose half of it, you just get so little mobility. We did a little bit worse there. A little bit over 3,000 instead of just below 6. Ah, oh, well, what are you gonna do? Don't come right away, but that's all right. This one, 25 hundo. Nice. Ah! I feel if we're a bit faster on the draw there, we can probably sustain after that wave, but it seems extremely tight. Losing half to get <laughs> aluminum legs. <laughs> you know, you're not even wrong. Like, I can't, can't debate that point, because you are extremely correct. <laughs> Dumbass aluminum legs. Who would even bother with those? Let's be honest. Cheapest ass, bendiest ass metal. I think it's a good idea to make a leg out of them. Come on. <laughs> spread here. I'm trying to knock it out from afar so we can do a quick turn and get this guy now. Oof. Mm, unfortunate. Of course we get the gimpy laser tank now. Okay. Well, this might be a good time to take a spill and get the next upgrade then. <laughs> Less fraught with peril than the next one. Jeez, they really do throw a lot of miners at you here. Don't like it. Do not like it. <laughs> when they start doing that, too. Oh shit, stop it. <laughs> Oh! Oof. Okay, good. We got the upgrade out of that at least. Excellent. Sure. 
time to roll a tank here. Come on. Oh, okay. They got one blast on it. That's all right. Rolling 6,000 score on one carrier kill. That's... Can't complain too loudly about it, honestly. Oh, please. Ah, nuts. there soon, yep. But, at least we're up to Mark 5 now, pretty pretty early. And right after a carrier wave, too, so we're good on that front, I suppose. And if it is a little scary to be fighting from Tier 1 here. Took two bops from mines there. <laughs> it's a little scary. Usually that's just the getting knocked out of the sky immediately. Okay, that's better. I can breathe a little bit easier. God, just got such a cloud of missiles and tiny jets here that we can't take out anything in the middle. Any sort of reliability. Thank you. Actually, rolling this with just a tier two is kind of eh. Don't have much choice, though. good. Oh, they rolled the tank at the wrong time, though. Fuck, please don't. Okay. Please. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh, boy. That was, uh, extremely close. Honestly, we almost got dunked. Flying by skin of teeth again. Oh. fine. Ooh. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. No worries. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Damn it. It's the cloud of mines waiting for me. Well, we rolled through that, uh, that four carrier wave. Somehow. <laughs> Probably should have been dead there, but we carried another minute or so afterwards. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That sounds like popcorn. I mean, it kind of is, right? I'm, I'm really glad that they picked a fairly non-intrusive sound for all the shooting that's going on here, honestly. Imagine it would get grading after probably about a minute. Oh. I guess 
it just was floating there and asking for it. through that. Not that, of course. don't float over that one quite so slowly, huh? Mm. that one pretty all right. out of this one a little bit south of 5k. Alright, not bad. Not our best work, but not our worst, surely. not to come to a dead stop. <laughs> Emphasis on dead. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> stop the silence. More or less, right? So by the time you get past dead, well, I mean, there's nothing else you can hear, right? So, may as well be silent. You know us. You know us. We, we cover the deep topics here. Whilst shooting shit out the sky. Sometimes... When you're in the middle of a firefight, you just gotta stop and think about the things, right? Think about the things you're doing. But not for too long, because you don't want to end up dead. I to stay there, because I was talking about other shit. grazed me there. Well, shit. Staying there, we had uh, enough mines to play with. Stodgy part is over. Usually, just getting up to Mark Two, Tier Two is the is the difficult bit. It's the most fraught with peril. Most likely to get your shot out the sky. Ah, it's time that one. So we're just a touch over six thousand. Pretty good though. Probably the best we've done up to that first carrier wave, honestly. It sustains all the way through. on that one. Oh, did we get the sustain there? Ah, oh, we didn't. 
It sounded like we did because we got kind of caught in a weird part of the song and with the last little combo, but damn. Oh, I felt pretty good about that one too. Oh well. Maybe next time. Honestly, that'd probably get us another like three or four thousand. laser tank now. Excellent. Let's keep it that way. As soon as we lose half season on it, we may as well just give up and go for the next upgrade. out the sky here. Ah, come on, you little shit. Oh, great. Yeah. Ugh, it's so slow. <laughs> Well positioned. Wow, yeah. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> All right, well, we've confirmed how much health our mothership has at the very least. It can take three bops and then the fourth one does it in. Damn. Well, that was just kind of bad luck getting bopped down to half tank on a severe distance from the mothership there. Ah, well. So it goes. So it goes sometimes. <sighs> nice. Figured we could take a couple missiles off the tailpipe there and be okay, but nope. Thank you. 
go. Nice tier two ups there. Okay, pretty okay guess there. Uh, this one's a little bit north of 5k. Alright. Bad aim. Good job. Good job. Hundo out of that one, sure. Ugh. Getting closer and sustain on that one. I feel like we're just like a tenth of a second away. roll them without them getting a shot off, so that's good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Really? Just a bit out of range. count of the waves, so I have a feeling another carrier wave is coming up here soon. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep. <laughs> At least I'm sort of around for it this time. Okay, we rolled him. Rolled him pretty quick. Okay, he's got one shot there. Well, two shots, apparently. Damn it. Oh, he's still not dead. Fuck. Uh, okay, that could have gone better. <laughs> oh, well. Rolled three of the four without much issue. Ooh, easy, buddy. Ooh, threading the needle. Okay. <laughs> hit down there. I agree with how that turned out, but whatever. Ooh, easy. Excuse me. <laughs> so dangerous. Okay, gonna roll a tank at a okay time, I guess. <sighs> Take an awful beating though. saw that one coming in, I'm like, I can beat it. Nope. <laughs> Oof. Kind of rough on those combo drops. Couldn't even make 100k at nearly 10 minutes in. When our 666 was, what, 10 and a half? Hoofa doofa. Alright, couple more good goes, and we'll hang it up for tonight.
Oh, come on. Well, either way, it's a carrier wave, so we would have dropped it sooner than later, but... instead of north of six. Gross. Okay. Face down the main gun of a tank. That's what's gonna happen. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not good enough to end the night on. Decide not to continue the series angels on Wednesday. I, I'm pretty sure we'll do this into Wednesday at the very least. Because this is very fun. Like, I was worried that its luster might not last for three nights, but no. I, I, have, I have a pretty good feeling that Wednesday will be this at the very least. And then we'll probably just roll right into the sequel right away uh, for next week, too. So you got that to look forward to. Should be fun. see how it holds up compared to the, the OG, right? Oh. What's that? That's weird. I don't remember seeing that miner around in that wave. That blasted through the, the tanks too quickly, perhaps. Lost a lot of steam, didn't we? <laughs> That's right. All right, let's let's get like at least above 100k. Then we can call it good. But none of this like sub thousand garbo. Like that's just embarrassing. What's the sequel called? Well, I don't know if it's necessarily a sequel, but it does look very very similar and by the same dev. The sequel is called Afterburn. I think it was 2019 versus this was 2017, which is really impressive, come to think of it. But from what I saw on the page and, and the trailer and whatnot, it looked like essentially this, but in free roam 3D, which is really fucking awesome <laughs> if it pans out that way, right? Could be pretty sick. But don't get me wrong, I love this kind of two and a half D perspective and shit. It's great, it works very well, but could always do with a little bit more open world, right?
There was always a miner around for this wave. That's kind of wild. Oh, please, thank you. <laughs> it's getting dicey. Carrier. Coming in here with probably 35 hundo? 44 hundo, okay, even better. Even with 46 hundo. Hmm, alright. Pretty alright. Not, not the greatest, but not the worst. Excellent sustain into a 3,000 carrier. Hell yeah. Alright, now we're talking. Still a little too late on the sustain after that wave, but... Feeling we'll get there eventually. Honestly, we need speed to get back over here. Knock that out. Alright, serviceable enough. Plus, we get the extra for the tier 2, so. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> ah, fuck. Boofa. Alright, that's okay. Like we had a we had a pretty okay early game there, but something just was not striking right in the early mid. But that's okay. That's okay. Mm. 
Hmm. Just based on the numbers I'm noticing here, it looks like any spillover does not get added to the next upgrade cycle. Which kind of stinks, but that also lends another layer of strategy you gotta do. Ooh, 5,000 is pretty good. Another layer of strategy to only kill as much as you need to hit that upgrade point. Oh wait, what am I doing? I want the second... <laughs> second easy upgrade cycle here. Just as they were whipping around out of range. Shitheads. Alright, so here's where I want to play this out, probably. We're up to Mark 3, but we don't want to try to push our luck too much. Here, there. Ah, it's so irritating. Okay, good. Now we're at a fucking distance from all these shitheads now. <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> Ooh. 
glad they seem pretty generous on the iframes coming out of the upgrade cycle there. Because that would have toasted me for sure otherwise. <laughs> kind of figured I wasn't going to have a whole tank for a long time here. Just these tiny assholes needling me at every opportunity. Don't quite have the anti-air as we do with the laser tank. tough because uh, we're extremely slow. <laughs> ah, nuts and gum. Too slow. Too slow to whip around, but hey, getting to the four carrier wave isn't bad. Not quite the HUD and Cade we were looking for, so let's try it again. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of middle ground with some of these runs. It's usually either you fuck up super early, or like early mid, or you get a pretty damn good run. Not a whole lot of middle ground. But you know, I can respect. I can respect a little bit of that. Because, like, yeah, it sucks to lose a, a real early run. Like, that's bad, but probably better for the morale than having a whole run of just straight-up mediocre runs. Like, you're not wasting a whole bunch of time on runs that are going nowhere. Here comes the mines. <laughs> you gotta figure they're using genuine creepy boys on those, because sometimes their aim is just impeccable. Just impeccable. Can't even argue with the effectiveness they got going on. Thank you. 
ejected me at a really sour angle there. Thanks. I need to whip back around and, of course, right into the fucking firing lane. <sighs> I guess it does eject us in the same angle that we're pointed, so that's probably on me, ultimately. Just enough time to make it up. Three hundo into first carrier is uh, pretty all right. Won't complain about that. We heading out with fifty-five hundo. Mmm, mm, tasty. Didn't mean to blast him straight out. Oh, what the? Ah, that's... sustain there and we left that dude alive just long enough oh what oh his last fucking bullet tags us what a shithead all right it's getting to the point where we need to call a serious last one here we can't keep doing this <laughs> can't keep doing these dumb mediocre runs we got to get like a a solid maybe like three-quarter ass run here and call it a night We burned our full ass run on that 666 style one.
Oh, pfft. Let's take those two mines right in the back. Okay, no problem. Close to the front. Don't know, wasn't paying attention. Just part of the problem. Out and going to the first carriers. Ugh. But we'll play it out. Because who knows? We've done more with less. how much that was worth, but at plus 50 combo, it's, it's pretty alright. Definitely dunked us over the 10k mark. on it we sure did oh well we still got full full tank so that's good
Not as good as it could have been, but not as bad as it could have been either. Could have lost the combo and lost half our tank. fire incoming. Man, ah, oh, where the fuck is he? Of course it's a miner with half his, his front end blown out. Oh, god damn it. Another very poor positioning here. Okay, I think they got one blast off. That's all right. Still kicking. <laughs> Paid a price for it, but I think we got him. Is he? Ah, bitch. Yeah, okay, I figured. I figured this was gonna be coming soon. and gum 95 all right well that's gonna have to be close no <laughs> damn it figured as soon as those dudes started coming in and absorbing bullets we were done mm. Mm -mm. well even so i think we can be pretty happy with our current second place <laughs> 26 almost 27 hours to to stay at second place <laughs> Which is probably not going to happen. Like, it'll drop to probably number four, maybe number five, I'd say. Depending on who else all, all shows up on the board here. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Let's see. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. 
we'll uh we'll carry Furious Angels one more night here. We're having having a good time. Having a good time. Um and then we'll probably call it done for Furious Angels. We'll start a new game next week, which will probably be Afterburn, which is more or less the sequel to this. Um, but then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, Shmup Book Club. We'll have a new Shmup for the month of March and a new quarterly for March through May, um, both of which have yet to be determined. Uh, Friday, we're off. Saturday is going to be a toss-up, as it always is. Uh, Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, will be long play, so more... Um, more dead cells and then next monday we'll be starting a new game again almost certainly afterburn which is 3d free roaming this <laughs> more or less but that'll do it for tonight thanks for watching everybody see you on wednesday bye bye